Hey guys, Winifred here, and today I am going to show you how to beat 80% of the TSG teams or cleave teams that are below 2.1k rating. Uh, because how, uh, don't get mad at me, but I think that uh, Blizz has really dumbed down every class to no end, and uh, a lot of people playing a cleave, I even played it, it's just no brainer to about 2.2k MMR. So, you know, it's very easy to play and it's very easy to uh, win a lot of the games against a lot of different comps simply because of how simple it is to play the classes now. Like Warriors, I play a Warrior and uh, playing it back in the BC days and playing it now, right now, you know, it's just basically right, uh, driving an automatic car. And uh, whereas in BC, it was more of manual, you know, get my drift. Basically, that's the best thing I could come up with. But, uh, you know, so uh, how to counter it, I want to show you guys. Like, it's very simple how to counter them. But above 2.1k, uh, the team start to get uh, a bit smarter and how to deal with it. So it's hard to uh, kind of use the strategy against them. But I think against uh, a lot of the teams below 2.1k, this is a surefire strategy. You can get a win over at least 80% of the teams because TSG teams are very just one uh, dimensional. Two, they don't communicate very well or they don't have a lot of good teamwork between each other. So they can't really make different plans or come up with different plans or anything. They don't have a lot of options anyway. So the th three things you need for this to work is line of sight you need to have a good idea of where you are at at that time and how to use it this is this mostly applies to the healer especially if the healer is a priest a paladin a shaman druids can still get away so you know druids uh, it's okay but uh, it, it applies to everyone in the team but i think especially it applies to the target that they are gonna go on to communication Communication is not only crucial in this, but it is goddamn crucial. You need communication to get a freaking girl. You know, it's basic knowledge, damn it. Communication is important for everything. So, communication, all right? I don't want to say anything more. Timing, you know, you, you got to... Timing by timing, I will show you later on what I mean by timing. You need to know when to pop your CDs and when to uh, be defensive or when to play defensive and when to make switches. So let me start off with the first game. The first game a bit, uh, I, th the first game is what you should not do actually, sorry. Uh, this will show you what happens. Um, there's gonna be a lot of pauses in the video where I'm gonna stop and tell you guys what actually happened and what should not have happened. So I hope it does not get annoying because there's uh, quite a few pauses, but I wanted to make it as informational as possible for you guys and tell you what's happening. So the first game, here it is. This shows how you should not go about it. What do you want to do? Let's Get just go hard DK. Hard DK. Get behind the boxes. Get behind the boxes. I'm staying on the bottom. I'm. I'm. Not, I. I. You. No, please get behind the boxes as soon as you can. I opened on the. All right. So if you notice, I told my teammate that uh, you don't go behind the boxes. I mean, go behind the boxes. Sorry. I told him to go behind the boxes, please, and he didn't listen to me, and he jumped down, and uh, he went the other way. So I went along with it. I was okay, I'll, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to, you know, fight with him. We're playing the game. So I let him test out his theory for a bit. DK. Damn it. It's fine. Just sit on them. I'm going to run away here. I okay, so here he says that he's going to run away. I don't know uh what healer i don't know any healers that are able to run away from a cleave team especially if they are a frost dk and a feral druid there are, i don't think there's any healer that can get away from a feral druid i don't know personally um druids maybe uh shamans cannot get away from feral druid there's no way a priest is gonna get away and there is no way a pally is gonna get away yeah, they can use freedom or whatnot in the Feral Druid. If the Feral Druids know how to play his class, he can just always catch up to the uh, target he wants to get on. And a Frost DK, uh, do not... <laughs> you can get away from a Frost DK, but they just have too many abilities. They can uh, Death Grip you back. They can uh, Chains of Ice you in place. They can also Hungering Cold, uh, Hungering Cold you so you can't move. And, uh, you know, they have quite a bit of mobility to stay on a target as well. Let me play the video again. 
Got the healer cycloned. What am I going to want again? Hibernating druid. Nope. Fearing the Pele Pele is going to bubble either here. He bubbled, he bubbled. Yeah. Can you get him on a cyclone here? I'm hibernating druid. Fucking freedom again and again and again. How many freedoms does he have? You got to get out of the open, please, Catex. Uh, listen to me. Get to those boxes. That will force them to LOS their pally while he's here. Okay, so right there, I I let him try his theory for a while. But if you noticed, as you noticed, we were playing defensive the whole game, trying to peel. We used every, you know, we've already, my uh, Druid has already used his trinket. I have used my trinket. We, we're just peeling. Like, we're not getting anywhere with this. So I'm begging him, please get to the boxes and start LOSing. Peeling. I'm dead. Hibernating druid. I that's all I couldn't peel any more for you. That's the best Get I can do. Boxes, please. Get a cyclone off on that uh pally now. Yep, I did. He's he's Get a kill, he's cycle he's they're going defensive now. This is it. Just stay behind those boxes. See they do not want to LOS him, so they're staying here. This is what I want to do. Just stay behind those boxes. He's going to have LOS. Can you dispel us as soon as you're out? No. I can't do anything. I'm. Okay, again, right there. Uh, for the past, uh, you know, 50 seconds, you noticed that he finally went behind the boxes. And you noticed how much pressure came off of him. The DK was not going back there because he was afraid he was going to get uh, Raffle stomped. And that was, that is what would happen to him by now because the Pally has popped his bubble. The Pally has used his trinket and he was silenced from a feral, uh, my feral. So, you know, he, if he we had done this a long time ago with this strat, we would have won a long time ago, way long. We, but now, both of us, m m I and my druid, we've used our trinket, so we can't get out of this. And we have no more CDs left. And uh, even though I tell my shaman beforehand, you well, as soon as you get out, because I knew they were going to go on him, he should have known they were going to go on him. I told him that, please dispel us, but he totally ignored us. And... Uh, I'll play the video again and you can see the outcome. It's obvious. Frozen. I can't, I can't do anything. I'm just frozen. I'm dead. Yep. Can't do, I sat in a full freeze. <laughs> so two main things happened in that video. Ignoring he, our healer. He's a good guy. I played uh, some games with him uh, before as well. He's a good kid. But he totally ignored us. Like throughout the whole game, and then towards the end, he says, I'm dead. Well, obviously, you're gonna die, man. What do you expect? So, you know, he totally ignored us, even though we're saying, Oh, I'm frozen, please dispel, dispel. He LOSs us, takes the DPS on the other side, so we can't even peel when we're out of the, uh, you know, hungry and cold. So, you know, one, ignoring your teammates, that will get you killed. It does not only apply to this. It applies to arena altogether. Never ignore your teammates. If you don't want to play a team game, just go do BGs. Don't do arena. Simple as that, guys. But uh, uh, two, same thing. Do not try to solo the game. He tried to solo it. He tried to Superman that hoe. He's like, you know what? I'm going to fuck these two up. I'm going to rape them. I'm going to act all cool. I'm going to heal through all their damage. Well, <laughs> he's not going to be able to heal through that damage. You do not want to be out in the open against double cleave you know double dps melee dps cleave teams you do not want to be out in the open so let me show you guys the second game here we're playing a, a different setup but the same rules still apply you gotta intercept these guys and get them don't let them touch me yeah. they're all me already okay. all right. they're doing a standard strat here i'm hot that's good i mean the chronic stack on me okay there's a storm i can't cut away from this i'm not i'm not trying to get this i'm gonna wait for the the to throw down who do you want to get on? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a warrior right now, just build holy power. But if you're on DK, I'm switching DK right away. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm frozen right now, so I can't do anything. I'm, I'm a warrior. Let's go on the warrior. Let's not let him pop a wreck. Okay, so right there, you notice that I told uh, uh, my teammate, Pure Shield, that, uh, you know, let's go on the warrior, so let's not let him pop wreck. Because right now, it is, we can't afford Pure Shield to pop a bubble. Another thing with these type of uh, teams is that 
especially cleave teams is that they only have a certain amount of time where they can get a kill in the start burst you know because they don't have a lot of cc's that they can do on uh, different targets for too long if you can live through their burst for later on slowly the longer the game goes on it will come to your side since we're running a cleave team it's a bit tougher for us because we're running with the same uh, idea as well we don't have a lot of cc so we're trying to get the kill first as well so basically you know you want to try to live through their uh, initial burst if you can by that just try to control the uh, person on their team that might be a little bit uh you know uh, dangerous or a class that's dangerous like the warrior if he pops track it will be a little dangerous you know so that's it but uh, all right let's start the video right. Fear and Pally soon. I mean, parry like no tomorrow. I'm I'm popping wings right here. Yeah, do okay. it, do it, do it. I'm popping yeah. right then. Another thing is, if you go against a cleave team like this, and uh, your teammate, one of you, is calling out that I'm gonna call, uh, you know, pop CDs. Make sure you pop your CDs with them. Uh, it's simply it, this the reason why I say that is because you one person won't be able to put out the pressure if you have a. Uh, you know if both of you pop cds and put out the pressure it forces them to use a lot of their defensive cds and if you can put out more damage than the cleave teams that you face then you've basically won the 90 percent of the game right there if you can force them to pop their uh, initial defensive cds very early in the start so keep that in mind if one of your teammates calls out that he's gonna pop cds make sure you pop them at the same time as well let uh, let your teammate know that you're popping out popping your cds Red Holden. You drink into that? He did drink it. Can you stun him? Yeah, I can. Oh, I'm waiting for repentance on this pally. So I, I wrapped him already, dude. Oh god. All right. yeah. I can stun D. him for you. Okay. I'm gonna fear him actually. I'm gonna fear him. Okay. I feared him. Yes. That's gonna be a bubble. That's gonna be a bubble oh, right there. Bubbled. Okay. Can you get it? Can you get it? It's off. Let's make a. Oh no, they're going after Kane. She's hot. She's hot. She's hot. They're going after Kane. We gotta get on these guys. All right. Let's send the warrior. Kane, take him back there. Yeah, take him back there. Okay, so right there, you notice that we made the pally bubble. We made him use a lot of his uh, CDs. We could have switched to him and killed him, but then we noticed that they were going to go on our priest and we had to peel because if we went on the pally, the pally was still able to get away from me and uh, my red paladin. Unlike a uh, frost DK and a warrior, they can sit on our priest very easily and get a kill before we can kill that pally. The pally can easily freedom or, uh, uh, you know, use his sprint. Or I don't know what the skill is called exactly. And he has a lot more uh, skills that can reduce damage taken. So we made the choice of, you know, uh, starting to uh, peel for our priest and make sure, like right there, my priest, he's, I told him keep going behind the boxes. Right away, he yellow the pally because the warrior was low on health. And that's what you want to do, right? Uh, you want to go LOS right away so that uh, your teammates can get on them and they have to LOS their healer, which forces them to back out to get heals and uh, that's less pressure on your healer. Get a stun possibly? Hey, I got a king guy above for you. Just call it. Okay. Fuck, he's falling, he's falling, he's falling, he's falling. He's I'm falling. okay. I can, I can live as long as I can. As long as the war is off him, he's fine. Yeah, I'm strang strangulated right now. He's the warrior back there. I'm going to go on this uh, for us. He's, he's, he just jumped back there, dude. Can I heal for you? Fear and Pally, fuck him, Hodge, full. I might die here, guys. Oh, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. Gotcha. Alright, Fear and Pally. Stacking you. Let's get on the DK, let's get on the DK here. On the DK, on the DK. Nice, nice Fear. I got Hodge, I got rep right after that, dude. Throw him down, throw him down, throw him down. They're on flames, they're on flames. Don't worry about me, don't worry about me. He, he, he pop, he pop right, get on Warrior. I'm getting on him. I'm gonna disarm him here. Swap CDs if you have any. DPS him right now. He's right? I have no, I have no CDs, I'm but I'm just, I'm just DPSing. Just hit him out. And there's the second thing, communication. My priest or my healer told me that the warrior had throw, uh, put a, you know, threw him down with his throwdown and he popped wreck. If my priest had not told me, we would have lost right there. The priest was going to die. A warrior can put out massive amounts of damage in that little period of time while he has wreck up. So if he did not tell me, he would have died right there. And you notice that as soon as he said that, I heard wreck. I just literally charged that warrior and disarmed him and then I threw him down. So please, I cannot stress if you don't want to do in good and if you want to do good in arena, sorry, make sure you communicate. It is the key to success in arena. Yeah. He's down the warrior. Can you get this one? I'm trying to get Bobble, bobbing it. There's a bop. Pummel the pally. Nice. I want. Well, let's go follow him for a sec. We Actually, can't, no, no, no. We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. Shot on. Yeah, I'm on the warrior. Can you just last time I bop? No, no, no. If you guys pay attention, as soon as those two get freer and are able to go towards my priest, he finds a way to LOS them from their healer. 
look, look he's not going too far for away from his dps which is us and he's losing the uh, paladin and their healer at the same time so it's giving us chance to dps while uh their dps is losing their uh pally or their healer you know so that's what you want to do your whoever they choose where the cleave team chooses to go on make sure you have a good idea of where you're at and how you can use it it's better to stand there and get beat on than run away from your own teammates do not run away from your own teammates but that doesn't mean don't run if they do get on you and uh, you have no other choice and you you know if you're L if you can los them then stand there and let your team beat on them and keep taking them los but if you just try to keep if you keep running away from your teammates then it's basically just going to be counter uh, you know it's going to counter you it's basically going to work in their favor because you're running away from your own teammates and your teammates are trying to peel and uh, you're not getting heals off while you're running as well and it's just going to cost you the game so keep in mind keep an idea of where you are at at all times your positioning and everything is very crucial for you to win against a cleave team it's very easy to win against them but it is very easy to mess up against them because they can literally kill you in one global if you do not play right can't get out of here while you have a bop up give him freedom as well so he can get out of here yeah i got him let's kill this warrior man this is bad. This is very bad positioning. I, I can't get. I can't do anything on the warrior right now. Fell down. Can you do anything to him? I can hodge. I can hodge him, but this is like way too dangerous. I'm hodging right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hodge. Okay. Keep going. Keep going again. Keep going. He's an ILS as healer. All right. If you notice, uh, my priest turned around right away as soon as he saw that Pally was there and tried to take them LOS again, even though he could have ran the other way when he had freedom and he had Bob, but that would have. Uh, basically brought him to their pally and pally could have hodged him and they could have gotten the kill off so he went turned around and went the other way again and uh, there we fall they like i said the warrior and the dk didn't have anything planned the dk is literally just sitting on the our priest he thinks he can get a kill off by himself but that's not gonna happen uh it's hard for one dps alone to get a kill off especially when he's used all his cds and uh, here the warrior if they had just turned around and gone on me or the paladin they might have made a huge difference because our priest is almost uh oom and they could have started putting cc's on our priest and could have just won the game easily but you know like i said they don't have a lot of options and they don't have really good communication because they just you know play with one minded track get on the target and kill it they never even think about switching targets so keep in mind that you if you can get them los and pop cds at the right time you can get a kill in the first 30 sec seconds of the game sorry so here we go he's going defensive again i'm gonna stun him as soon as he comes out of that i'm gonna stun him right. there we go all right switch the switch the pally right here we have a chance i'll call i'll call you're alone with the DK dude. We're gonna get him soon. I got, I got, I got coolies. Okay, go, go, go. Boom, nice. All right, come, come to me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you might be wondering why we switched to the pally at the end. If you notice throughout the game, we were either on the DK or the warrior, or uh, you know, we wanted, we could have killed the pally right there when he bubbled. But we couldn't because they went out uh, after our priest. So over there we got a chance. I really wanted to get on the pally as soon as possible. And the chance we got was we separated the warrior and the DK so they couldn't be on our priest at the same time. By constantly keeping pressure on one of them. Does not matter who. Make sure you have pressure on one of them. It's best to have pressure if you're facing a TSD. It's easier. It's kind of better to have pressure on the target that you think is easier. You know, easier for you to control and it's harder on the healer if that target is on your healer so that's why we st stayed on the warrior because a warrior does a lot of consistent damage dk might do burst but he can still get feared by our priest and whatnot so our kill target was the warrior from the start but when we saw that chance that you know the warriors were over here and the dk's over there and they're separated from the pally and uh, we literally just took that chance to go on the pally and uh, killed him that's what i mean by timing we saw the timing we saw the opening we popped cds and killed them so you know the reason why we won this game and not the last one is because i was playing with people that were communicating more and uh you know there were everybody was telling what's going on and we were you know listening to each other's ideas and going along with it so you know I, that's that's what is important i think the biggest thing is communication uh, LOS will help you against this kind of uh, comp. I know it's very hectic when I lose them. I'm like, oh my god, man, are you kidding me? I have to freaking use so much skill and you guys come out of nowhere and beat the crap out of me? Fuck you.
Like seriously. So you know, I I know how you guys feel. So I really wanted to make a video. I'm sorry. I know it's very long. I wanted to make it as informational as possible, and I I hope. It's not boring to listen to me. I know my voice is like I'm sleepy or I even saw in one of my comments before it says I'm a freaking stone Canadian. I have never even smoked marijuana. I'd like to, but <laughs> you know, I've never smoked it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully it's helped you. And uh, uh, in the future, I think I'll be starting a, a show of my own. You know, there's something new that TGN has started where we can create our shows. You will hopefully be seeing that where I will be whining, crying, bitching, and... Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, that's all I got. And hating on Arena about how, what Blizz has done to every class and, uh, you know, w w how awesome it was and how shit it is now. But still, uh, at the moment, I think Blizz WoW has the best uh, PvP system simply because you can control your character uh, rather than, you know, standing there and watching the animation of the character being done. You have freedom over your own uh, character while you're clicking skills. I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it helped you. And uh, this, uh, I think this strat is basically same. And no matter how many changes come, you get LOS and uh, you time your CDs right and you can blow anyone up. Now, uh, and uh, hopefully it helps you guys. And uh, I apologize about the rambling. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I make the show uh, entertaining so you guys don't get bored. And you guys will get to see me in that show because I think uh, you guys would like to see my shitty face. Or, well, you wouldn't like to see my shitty face, but, you know, you always, I am always like, you know, if I watch other people's commentary, I want to see well, what they look like behind, you know, behind that voice, what they look like. So, uh, look out for that and take care, guys. Thanks for watching.